Okay, so I thought I'd do a video on this. This is something really quick. I'm gonna get my mouse through. Nothing spectacular, but um, if you're using Scaler, and one of my favorite uh, things for guitar is this one, Ample Guitar. So Ample Guitar has other products on there. This is one of my favorites though, it's a semi-hollow. Basically we would say it's like a 335, a Gibson uh, type guitar with two humbuckers in it. You can tweak all the different settings, but I enjoy just using what's there. Um, there are some other effects and stops and different things you can do. You can get real detailed on it, they have amps, etc. I just use the default setting a lot of times. But you see how cool it sounds? So I'm using Scalar with it. Oh, this shouldn't be here. All right, so I'm using Scalar with it. Um, it just sounds to me real natural. Got a little pops and little effects that sound in there. I think you can adjust that too if you want to take it out a little bit. But I think it sounds natural in there. So I didn't. This song I made is with the um, with the piano. I'm not gonna use chords, but I just wanted to show you that you can, and if you put a little, a little vibrato in it using the mod wheel on your keyboard. Just a little bit though, don't go too nuts So on it. A little vibrato. A little pitch. It, it gives it, it feels like you're bending the strings or you're vibra uh, vib vibrating the strings, right? So you can do some cool stuff. I use it for solos a lot of times. If I don't want to pull a guitar, I'll just uh, get on here and use it for a solo. Um, sometimes it's easier to do that than to stop and having to hook up a guitar. Um, plus, if you don't have all these guitars, like I don't have a 335, so, you know, it's nice to have this ability to do it. Um, they do have a Strat. Here, I'll show it to you while I'm at it. And they do have deals, so sometimes you can catch his little deal of a, a Strat. So... some do I have distortion on here or did I reduce no that's just how it sounds sounds good to me it got it has a more natural uh feel to it let's put a little vibrato in there So anyway, Ample Sound, or Ample Guitars, I think it's uh, Ample. Let me give you the exact website. Hold on one second. Because I have it saved up here somewhere. So, AmpleSound.net. Okay. Check them out. They got a winter sale going on right now that goes through January the 1st. Uh, I do not, I'm not sponsored. I don't get anything by you signing up, unfortunately. I wish I did. Um, but you'll see, they even have like, Asian instruments of different types. So take a look at those. They make they have bundle packages. You can make your own type of bundle. But let's say they have bass uh, guitars too, which is good. And they're sampling like PRS, Martin, Fender. They're using actual um, names of guitars they sampled, I guess. Uh, but they they sound really good. There's a nylon on here too that's really good. Uh, the upright bass on here is good. I just like, I like their stuff. And as you buy into their system or buy into their stuff, you'll get like um, discounts. 
If you want to go all in, you get that full bundle. It's kind of pricey though. Oh, that's not too bad actually. It's normally like three thousand dollars, but you see, it's like half the cost, like fifteen, fifteen uh, hundred. So yeah, if you got it like that, but I don't. But uh, but buy it with just buy what you need, because um, some stuff can feel like a repeat. Like if you find one humbucker guitar that you really like, like a three thirty five is my favorite. Just buy the three thirty five and use that one. You'll probably the other ones will have a different sound. Of course, all guitars and pickups and sound a little bit different. But unless you got it, you know what I'm saying? Just go with the go with what you can get. They have a couple free versions if you want to try it out too. Let's see, downloads. So there's like a P bass that is pretty cool. And then there's a the Martin light version for the guitar. So you could try those. Those are the free ones they give away. And then there's the percussive cloud drum. But then you can use the um trial versions of the upright if you want to try it out and the Les Paul that they have. Uh, so anyway, really great plugins. I love them for uh, making music. They sound good. As you can tell, and you want a little less grit, then plug throw the 335 in. It's gonna be smoother, more jazzy. By the way, I have, um, let me show you. This is a trick I use. You don't have to use this, but I use the humanize and I put it on both the velocity and the timing. And the reason is, is I don't want the notes when I play them to sound, see if I turn it off, it's just. It works, it doesn't, but you, you all your notes are gonna be straight across the board. There's no variation in the velocities of each one of those notes. So if you turn it on and leave it on both, you get the timing a little off and the velocity. So each time you play it, it's a little different. What that means is if I played 16 bars, let's say I only had a four bar chord, like the four bars on, watch. I play it, it's going to sound a little different. So I'll just show it to you. In fact, what we'll do is watch, we'll just go down here, grab the drums, and we'll go Command D. So we have some drums to play over. And then I'll just record, starting there, I'll just record those four bars uh, four times, or at least, yeah, something like that. So let's see. used to trying to experiment sorry I, I drifted into the experiment mode there for a second let's try it again keep it simple So let's look at it now. If you look down here at the bottom here where the velocities are, you'll notice like this velocity, this velocity down here is slightly different from this one and so on and so forth. All of them are different. So it just makes your music, if you can do that, if you're gonna do something simple like a four bar, riff where it's the same four bars over and over and over and over instead of just doing four and then copying and duplicating why not do eight or do it like this play it twice or play it four times if you can which is even better and have like 16 of it it's since it's going to be a repetitive thing and then what it does is it makes your music sound less repetitive because you got some variation to it so at least do it i would say at least do it twice and then duplicate it um and if you can do it 16, though, that I just think it just comes out extra nice when you do that. But anyway, just a couple tips, a couple cool things to mess around with. Um, but yeah, using the strum with obviously a guitar 
makes sense, right? And then I use it sometimes on the keys, but um, yeah, it's just a lot of fun. So anyway, that's this video, it's real short. Just wanted to show you that. Amplesound.net, check out their stuff. They have a sale, that apparently it's 50% off or something, I don't know, uh, based on what I saw with the full package. Um, but you'll have to look into it. But yeah, check it out. Maybe you'll use it, maybe you won't. But if you, if you like guitars that sound really real, I think that's one of the best ones, in my opinion, on uh, desktop for sure. All right, I'm out.